One week a year, aviation enthusiasts from around the globe descend on the town of Oshkosh, Wisconsin for the world's largest fly-in convention. Hosted by the Experimental Aircraft Association, AirVenture is a truly remarkable week-long celebration of all things aviation. According to their website, over 500,000 people from 80 countries travel to Whitman Regional Airport for this unique experience. Last year was our first time attending, and I cannot wait to go back. We flew one of the 182s from our flying club from David Wayne Hooks on the north side of Houston to Springfield Branson, where we stopped for lunch and had great burgers at a place the FBO recommended called Black Sheep. From there, we made our way to Dubuque, where we saw several warbirds on their way to Oshkosh, before continuing on to Green Bay, where we stopped for the night, before flying into Oshkosh the next day. It is complete sensory overload from day one. Everywhere you look, there are incredible things to see and do. Military aircraft, historic warbirds, unique home builds, and other clever customized planes. The EAA has free and paid workshops where you can learn about building your own plane. There are giveaways by vendors, there are meet and greets with performers, there are tours of Warbird Alley, and the entire time there is an air show taking place overhead. One of our favorite attractions from last year was the One Week Wonder. Like I mentioned in a previous video, we loved coming here every day to see the progress they made and to watch the RV-12 come together. All of the volunteers there were really friendly and were happy to answer any questions. This exhibit was part of what inspired us to build our own plane. Another thing we really loved last year were the guest speakers and in particular the Warbirds in Review. We had the honor of meeting Lieutenant Colonel Richard Cole a couple years ago at Wings Over Houston and we're excited to see that he was one of the guest speakers at Oshkosh last year. If you don't know his story, I highly encourage you to look him up or check out the book I'll link in the description below. Colonel Cole was the last surviving Doolittle Raider and was General Jimmy Doolittle's co-pilot during that historic mission. Sadly, he passed away earlier this year and I'm very thankful that we got to hear him speak about his time as a raider and a hump pilot. Actually, Colonel Doolittle was five foot six, but uh, the way I, I was able to put it together was, he was short in stature, but tall, unaccomplished. A man of integrity, honor, and courage. He excluded confidence, determination, and strength. He was intelligent, educated, and humble, great respect for others, led by example and inspiration to all, and we would have followed him anywhere. One of the most unique experiences was the nighttime air shows. I've been going to air shows since I was a little kid and have never seen anything like this. The shows begin at dusk and with all the glowing lights and pyrotechnics added to the performance, it is an absolutely incredible sight to behold. Let's look at what's on the agenda for this year at the 50th anniversary of AirVenture at Oshkosh. Apollo 11 astronaut Michael Collins will be a featured guest to help commemorate the 50th anniversary of that historic mission. 
The EAA will be observing the 75th anniversary of D-Day this past June with aircraft that participated in the actual invasion, like That's All Brother. Crowd favorites like Sean Tucker, Patty Wagstaff, the Red Bull Air Force, and several other incredible pilots will be performing in the daily air shows. Personally, I am really looking forward to seeing Nate Hammond and his Super Chipmunk Ghost Rider perform in the night shows again. This year also marks the 12th anniversary of Women Venture, with different activities throughout the week to help bring together female aviators and aviation enthusiasts. If you're going to be attending Oshkosh, I encourage you to take part in one or all of these events and to register for your free Women Venture t-shirt. I will put a link for that in the description below. Needless to say, we are very excited about going back to Oshkosh this July 22nd through 28th. It will be even more special now that we are building our own plane and we are really looking forward to meeting up with other RV-10 builders there. So what are your favorite memories from Oshkosh? And are any of you going to AirVenture this year? Any recommendations for what we should make sure not to miss while we're there? Let me know by leaving a message in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider going below and hitting the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to click on the little bell icon so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. If you are going to be up at Oshkosh, be sure to look out for Tyler and I wearing my new I Heart Clicos t-shirt. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at Oshkosh.